ओरिजिनल गाने में जया प्रदा जी ने इतनी इतनी चूड़ियाँ पहनी और फिर कह रही है मुझे ला दे हरी चूड़ियाँ नाम लाइक पहनी है तो कौन लाएगा One time I happened because the minute I saw the song, I loved it, and I messaged Samantha, and I was like, "You have killed it! Like it's insane!" And she was like, "Yeah, now you need to sing something in Telugu." If people think that you get work just because you're friends with somebody, it doesn't always happen that way. No one's helped me. No one said, "Let me give you a break." No one said, "Let you know why don't you do this? Why don't you sing in my film? Why don't you feature in my song?" It's never happened. This is Sophie Chaudhary. I just did an interview with E Times. Don't forget to like, watch, and subscribe, and share. Hello, everyone. Welcome to E Times. And today I have Sophie here with me. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? You know what? Since the morning, like I'm just listening to your new song, which is Gori Hai. Thank and you. And I, I can't just stop singing it in my in my head also. I'm so happy to hear that because that's the point. <laughs> yeah, because I'm just so hooked to it, and I know for a fact that it's a remake. Yes. And uh, you know, of course, this song is some. You know, there are just some songs which become very popular. Yeah. Yes. become kind of iconic through years you yes. know generations hear them yeah. and i think this is one of that song so how did this happen how did this remake happen tell us about that well it's funny you're saying it goes through generations cuz my choreographer for the song is 22 years old he's never done a video in his life the wow. dancers were between the age of 19 and 22 and they'd never heard the original really yeah and i've met so many people in that age group who never heard the original so we presume that people know but they actually don't and i kind of got the same response when i did ek pardesi back in the day a lot of people did not know the original song hmm. um and people still connect with that of course I know all the original yeah. songs and this is an iconic one and I actually was given the rights to do this about 6 years ago funnily enough really? and I made a version of it which was really nice but mm. I wasn't feeling it was the right time to release it I Why felt Why would you say that? Uh at 6 years ago because I don't think the independent music scene was as exciting mm. as it is now. Yeah. I thought the song was too good yeah. to release then and I also felt I could make a better version. Mm. So I kind of put it away and I think I almost locked it away and forgot I had it. And then suddenly this year I remembered and I was like oh my god you know the kind of songs that one needs are catchy yeah. hooks with catchy music hooks and I just felt like we had something so yeah. um and of course Bappi Das melodies are iconic absolutely amazing and so with the music director of this who's recreated it Vikram Montrose who did the music for the movie Sanju and all mm. kinds of stuff we sat and we completely reworked the song we just kept the hook and everything else is new yeah um and i was so happy with the result and then of course producing and creating the video it's been mm. an amazing amazing project for me absolutely and i'm very proud of it and the fact that you say you know that uh, hook steps are there and of course there's this touch of you know you of course in it the whole song is yours yeah. and the way it's shot it looks beautiful thank you and you know the whole um, opening part and the middle part you know, <laughs> you're trying to show your churiyan yeah. today also you're wearing something. i've been wearing churiyan <laughs> everyone say gana hai hari churiyan but i'm like gana hai tu la de tu pehna de so that means you have to bring them for me na agar main khud hi pehn lungi i never understood original gaane mein jaya ji ne uh, jaya prada ji ne yeah. itni itni churiyan pehni aur phir keh rahi hai mujhe la de hari churiyan yeah. i'm like pehn ye to kon laega <laughs> and on top of it a lot of people don't know which even i didn't know when uh, i was younger ki in maharashtra yeah. you wear hari churiyan when you're married yeah of course but people don't know that right yeah. when you're like i'm punjabi I, we yeah. never knew that so i'm like that is something people don't know about mm. the song in fact i was telling varun dhawan yesterday also and he said i never knew that mm. and i'm like wo hari churiyan tab pehnte jab shaadi so huh. in a way she's almost telling the guy ki ma yes <laughs> marry me she's actually telling the guy marry yeah. me so there's so many different layers to the song if yeah. you actually listen to it and don't yeah. think of it on a superficial level. No, I think this is amazing what she said because you know, it's so sweet. Yeah. You know, in a way that the girl is telling of course Amitabh Bachchan, you know, featuring in the song yes. Ajay Prada ji and everyone and of course Lata Mangeshkar and Buffy Larry being a part of this. So yeah. I'm sure that when you know you thought of doing it it would have felt you know amazing because such icons have been a part of this. Yeah, I mean people always ask me doesn't it scare you to do yeah. this and I said but it's very funny because somehow whenever I've done a remake it's been very well received mm -hmm. so maybe people feel that I try to maintain the integrity of the song. Um but do it in my own way and I always feel like I mean for me the best message I got was from Bappi Das Sanbappa which was 
thank you for keeping dad's legacy alive yeah, and then for saying that he would have loved this version mm. um and that meant a lot to me because he was really progressive himself mm. and i think you know i'm i'm not in favor of a lot of remakes because i think people just do them sometimes for the sake of it but i know what we put into this yeah. um to keep that nostalgic vibe and for it to appeal to yeah. a whole new audience you know and i hope that by seeing this people also go back and see the old one and see how different you know, it is what i wanted to tell you sophie that when you do a remake yeah this actually happens that people go back and watch yeah. uh, that song and they try to listen to the lyrics and they try yeah. to compare and do yeah, the comparisons yeah, yeah, yeah. i was just about to come to this because that is exactly what i did and i know a lot of people do that yeah no but does that put a bit of pressure on you that you know what are people going to say because these days you know people are so intolerable this cancel culture is happening yeah. boycott is happening aren't you scared at all But then if you're going to be scared as an artist you'll never do anything in your yeah. life you know and I think everyone has an opinion when you get into this line you know that you're it's subjective mm. and you have to accept the fact that not everybody is going to love you yeah. I also don't love everybody right yeah. we're all human beings so yes I mean I think now it's easier for people to voice their opinion yeah. I think people can be a little bit mm. mean but then as long as the good outweighs the bad it's all yeah. good and so far the response has only been positive Absolutely. people are so happy to see me back people had a lot of complaints that in my last couple of videos they didn't feel like i was dancing enough they were missing that every day i get messages when are you redoing ek pardesi do ek pardesi yeah. 2.0 i was like well i don't know if i can do that mm-hmm. but i can definitely do this yeah. and create that vibe yeah. and also you know we from that time where we we love these kind of mm-hmm. videos But if you look at like what's happening right now these kind of videos are not happening. It's very like, you know, fast cutting, glamorous car, glamorous girl, tuk 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 tuk. It's all that. So I wanted to bring that little nostalgic I vibe. This is very female centric. It and, is. Uh, you don't even have one uh, you know sort of <laughs> hero hero in your that well so there was two your ways hero. of doing this well no there was two <laughs> ways of doing this video thank you i never thought of it like that but it was either ke we'll have some dancers or phir ek puri story hogi ladke ke sath and wo to pura filmi ban jayega aur wo bilkul film wale ke jaise ban jayega or then you make it a little bit more empowering mm. like you know all girls you make it I am known for that east meets uh, meets west yeah. kind of vibe. So you make it a little bit more like that, you know, yeah. like an all girl army and yeah. it's just a lot more empowering, lot cooler. And the trend today is that people want to copy the choreography. They want to yeah. hear that hook step. They yeah, want to yeah. see it. So that's where we the went with it. Culture. Yeah, that's a huge culture. We Absolutely can't deny it. No. We can't deny it that that's how people catch on to songs. That's how they mm. work. And I was very aware of it when I was making this version of the song. Yeah. But like you said that there's so much much positivity that's coming your way yeah. uh, i actually stumbled upon um, your reel which i have watched a lot of times which is uh, your u antava uh, version <laughs> that you've created on your reels yeah. you know i have to say this that people go crazy when you do you know covers on that's what i'm saying reels. so i've done another cover as well so, so they should also go crazy <laughs> over this <laughs> so uh, i want to ask you this that you know whenever you hear a song and you like it yeah. do you then think you now i should just sit and you know make a reel out of it and then put it out no, or how does nothing, that happen no nothing like that you know during lockdown um you know i just started doing the kind of music that i love and a lot of it is western music yeah. so i just started singing covers and suddenly i started getting a lot of love yeah. for it um and uantava actually it's it's kind of interesting uantava happened because the minute i saw the song I loved it and I messaged Samantha and I was like you have killed it like it's insane and she was like yeah now you need to sing something in Telugu I thought okay and I didn't tell anyone I didn't she take any help told you. yeah so I think she's like you need to sing something in Telugu uh, as in hee hee ha ha type you know it wasn't okay. like ha huh. yeah so I said Curious. okay yeah. so then I said okay let me do this I am pretty good at singing in languages and I have a lot of friends like mm. um like Sid Ishu's Arjun's brother yeah. also is a friend of mine but I didn't take help from anyone I just listened to the song tried to perfect it as much as I could and I just went in musti se to do it and yeah. I put it out and it went nuts yeah people thought I was the original singer and it's Indravati who's done yeah. an amazing job yeah. with the song yeah. but I mean even DSP sir was mm. he re- posted it uh, Alu Arjun like commented on it everybody and I was like this is crazy it's still going viral it's still going viral and it's really crazy because the funny thing about that is when that went viral it actually gave me a bit of a kick yeah to say you better get into action and put out a song yeah. and because of the response yeah, of to that yeah. i started working on gori hai mm. 
which is so, so see funny. how social media that's what i'm is saying coming your inspiration to do a lot more work yeah so apart from all the negativity like which comes sometimes it can do some amazing yeah. positive things like i think some people who had forgotten that i sing mm. suddenly remembered oh my god yeah. um and so that just pushed me into gear and i really think the response to that is what made me do this amazing yeah. this is <laughs> i think what sophie has just mentioned that you know social media gave her that inspiration to do more because yeah. now you're on a roll i feel hopefully that's There's i'm not going to leave long gaps now <laughs> there <laughs> is i'm not going to leave long gaps anymore <laughs> she's not enough to uh, keep you guys hooked to her <laughs> yes. and uh, of course her but uh, sophie you're also an all rounder mm. so uh, so to say because you you don't only sing but you perform you dance you know you feature in the music videos as well yeah. and you know how does that help you as an artist like um, you know sometimes people like to do playback singing and mm. then have you know someone else doing the song mm. but how do you think like this really helps you to feature on your in your own music videos i mean i when i came to india i was from london so i was anyway very used to the international pop culture yeah um also when i came i did not have a typical playback voice so i was not going to get offered playback mm. and if anybody was going to say that someone else would be in your video i put my foot down and said that's not happening i'm like i'm a already. yo no love the camera yeah no <laughs> i was just like that's the whole point is i am a pop singer yeah. i will feature in my own video yeah. i can dance i can yeah. look stylish i know i can do this so why will i allow someone else to take credit for my voice that's because that's what happens mm. and i think because i laid that foundation very early till date people love me for ek pardesi babu chal chabila and whatever i yeah. have done today there's many amazing singers who you might see because of social media but otherwise you don't know what yeah, they've sung yeah of course yeah and that really talented but can you you can't recognize them Absolutely. i meet a lot of people from the industry and they're like oh you know i bumped into someone that day and they were like oh we've sung in your movie and i was like oh really and i'm like really? yeah yeah <laughs> yes because they don't know what they actually look like yeah. they know the name yeah. but they don't know what they look mm-hmm. like and i'm like for me i've been i've had that identity from the start yeah so in a way i was really firm about that because of that a few times i also sang for myself in the movies like in pyar ke side effects mm-hmm. and stuff i sang for myself so that was all really good um but then it also meant that i didn't get to do playback because mm-hmm. by the time different voices were being accepted in playback then they were like oh but she's a heroine mm-hmm. so she's only going to sing for herself yeah um so there was like a bit of both but i really appreciate the fact that i am in my own videos and i'm pretty firm about that um amazing yeah until i can do this i'm going to do this <laughs> <laughs> sure that is this is yours to come that you're going to these little videos but tell me something sophie now you've you've been in the industry for a really long time and yeah. you have so many friends from bollywood yeah. all around yeah. not only bollywood uh so do you think now it's become easy because you can just message a friend and say hey let's collaborate on this or hey let's do this together no not at all no? not at all that because that doesn't help you uh i'm first of all not the person who generally does that mm. um because i never want to put somebody on the spot or make them feel like our friendship is because of that yeah if i have something new out i can message a few people and say you know whatever like i went to show varun the song and he loved it and he is like oh my god what are we doing for the song like you know he got like me <laughs> into got, panic mode i think yeah. like he was like what have you planned what are we going to do da, 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 da. then he said like, have you shown karan i said i'm going where have you shown karan and then i went and showed karan karan was like oh my god i love the song and this is so good and so that i am really lucky you have access to do that which a lot of people don't but like for me to call like if if people think that you get work just because you're friends with somebody it doesn't always happen that way yeah. i think whatever i have done in my career has been without anyone's help no one's helped me no one said let me give you a break no one said let you know why don't you do this why don't you sing in my film why don't you feature in my song it's never happened but i'm sure your conversations you know when you'd be having drinks with your friends or just going out for lunches mm. maybe they'd be giving you ideas right oh sophie you should do this or maybe you should you know that. there's very few people like that um there's yeah. varun who's one of them who will really stand by a friend and say do this you need to do this for this you need to do that and he's done it for Thinking me before for also yeah. he there's very few like that otherwise everyone just is like more on a superficial level oh you did a fab job oh, oh this is great or oh, let me post for you which is also really helpful yeah, but um there are very few people who really go out of their way um, and think about and what think you about what do. you should do absolutely yeah. well sophie this is a lovely conversation that i'm already having with you but i'd also want you to you know put it out there for someone who wants to start to fresh mm-hmm. you know and who probably wants to make videos like you do sing themselves <laughs> yeah. feature in the videos and uh, you know as you said be a pop star yeah. in india yeah so what would you tell them like how can they start 
Well, I mean, the, the most amazing thing that I would tell them is that right now is the best time because independent music is making mm -hmm. a huge comeback. And I think we can see from the movies itself that yeah. uh, music in movies has become secondary. Absolutely. In fact, a lot of them are feeling that, you know, the, mov the music hinders the movie. Mm -hmm. So they use them as background songs rather than those typical lip sync songs. Yeah. So it's giving a chance to independent artists. The Punjabi artists have figured out oh their way. God. They know what they're doing. Yeah. So we kind of need to just find that for ourselves, yeah. you know, in all the other languages and, and, and do what we're doing. And I think right now, so, you know, there's always the pros and cons. With social media, there's so much content. Mm -hmm. But if you're good, you also get noticed. Yeah. So you can, nowadays, so many people make music videos just on their phones. Mm -hmm. You can create songs, you can make music videos like that, and you can just put yourself out there. Mm -hmm. Whether it's by starting by doing covers or whether it's doing original music, you've got YouTube, you've got Instagram, you've got so many places. Yeah. So my advice is to just keep creating and putting stuff out. Um, today, like when I started doing stage shows, there were very few artists doing it. Today, everyone's doing stage shows. So there's a chance for everybody. If you're good, you'll find your path and you'll find your way. So Sophie, do you believe that you don't need a big music label to back you up? Um, you can do your stuff. You, you know what? You can do your stuff. And a lot of people are going independent because let me tell you, like, there's very few music companies who can really help you. Mm -hmm. um, I've worked with so many, and a lot of them claim we'll do this, 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 and quite frankly, they really don't because they've got so much other stuff to do. Mm -hmm. They don't promote you the way you want uh, to be promoted. And a lot of them, then also, you're signing your life away to them. You know, you're signing a huge part of your earnings. You're, you're signing a lot. If you're signing for, for your, uh, a contract with them, sometimes you're giving them 30 40% of your show income, which is a lot, um, unless they're doing a lot for you in return. Mm -hmm. So you really have to see if you're getting a good record deal, it's worth it to start off. But if it means you're signing your life away, maybe not. So you're not someone at this stage who is looking at those big labels backing you up or something? I mean, I like feel like I could do like one song and one... I mean, I come from a time when we would do albums, you know, so it was very different. But now, yes, if I feel like collaborating with somebody on a song and I think they're going to back it up well, I'm happy to do that. Mm. Um, but, but that's not your only consideration that I will only do this when no. a big label is no, backing No, not anymore. Not, not anymore. There like are other said, ways of doing you know, things. You had a 22-year-old choreographer. You had someone who never really did something and you know they came up and collaborated yeah. so which is a great thing you're giving them an opportunity as well well that was i mean i'm so happy that i was able to do that but it's not the fact that i was able to do that it's the fact that he deserved it mm -hmm. he's so talented and i wanted a new vision and i've worked with some of the most amazing choreographers i mean one of the first music videos that remo sir did was for me as a choreographer mm -hmm. then he's directed videos also mm -hmm. for me i've worked with everyone from bosco caesar to Adil to Piyush Shazia, who did one of their first videos with me. I've worked with a lot of people who are just starting off or who are then at their peak. And mm. I've been really fortunate. But I did definitely wanted freshness in terms of the choreographer and the dancers. Mm. Um, I did not want like the typical filmy dancers. They're amazing, but I did not want this for this. I yeah. wanted real girls. Um, and I wanted like very like today, very Instagram, very social mm. media kind of girls who become popular doing that yeah. kind of stuff. And that's who I wanted in my video. So I think we got that. And when you're able to control your own project, then you get to decide. And that's Absolutely. the best part. I think your creative inputs are taken into consideration more. Right? Oh, well, no, with this video, when it comes right from the background dancers' costumes to the sets, I've designed everything. I like, I've I, literally sat I and can designed vouch it. I for what you think right now, because just before the interview, she was really worried about light, where is it, For everyone. Is there, so everything. Sophie is an all-rounder. Yeah. Thank you so much for being on the time. Thank you. But before we end this conversation, you have to sing for us. Of course, I would love to. Guri <laughs> hai Tula de mujhe hari hari chudiyan Apna bana le mujhe sajna Then you have to do the hook step That's what you have to do. But I want everyone to go and watch the video and see all the new parts that we've done for the song. Please, please go and check it out because it's got a very new, fresh flavor. Well, thank you so much. This was lovely. Thank you.